what's up, it's Rymo. Today in this lesson we're gonna play some Rancid, Time Bombs, really great song. Okay, so let's start out from the top. Um, in the very beginning there's some hits that the band does all together. Do these hits, they're two measures long, we do them twice. So a total of four measures in the beginning. Okay, so the verse section um, is an eight bar phrase, so let's check it out. Here we go. The chorus section is basically the same, except for the hi-hats are a little more open and washy and there's a crash cymbal in there on the fourth measure on beat four. So let's check out the chorus now. Okay, so the, the tune setup basically is verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So after the third chorus, we're going to do eighth notes on the toms and uh, we're going to set up for the guitar solo. And the guitar solo um, pattern is basically the same as the chorus pattern, okay? So let's do the two measure build and then let's play the uh, eight measures of the guitar solo. Now on the eighth measure of the guitar solo there's a fill as well which we'll break down after this. Fill on that eighth measure of the guitar solo. Let's let's count it out a little slower. So it'll be like this. So now after that fill, we basically go into the keyboard solo, which is also eight measures long, except for we're playing it in a halftime feel. So what we're doing is continuing eighth notes on the open hi hat. And instead of the snare drum playing two and four as it has the whole song, we're going to move the snare drum to beat three, which is going to give us the halftime feel. So the tempo stays the same, the right hand stays the same, uh, my right foot is now playing quarter notes, and my left hand has just moved back a beat to beat three. Like six measures of that pattern, then measure seven and measure eight are just are crash cymbals on one. So let's go ahead and play the keyboard solo section now. sort of like a rock steady, kind of almost like a, a stepper rhythm, like a reggae rhythm. Four on the floor for six measures, snare drum on three now, I'm still playing eighth notes on the open hi-hat, uh, measure seven and measure eight, I'm playing down beats with the crash cymbal and the bass drum. After that keyboard solo, I basically go back to play the verse and a double chorus, and then I play the two measure build that we already covered. Um, and then a couple craft symbols to take you all the way out. You can use the patterns that we talked about already and figure out where they fit to put the puzzle together and play the song along with the guys from Rancid. Go ahead, download the tune, check it out, play along with it, and uh, you'll become a better drummer.